Hey guys, welcome to WordPress Daily. Well, we successfully completed our first full week of episodes, and this is episode number six. And we're going to dive into Civi CRM. Wow, it's Monday, episode number six. I'm Tom Mullins for WordPress Daily. WordPress Daily is a daily, interactive, hands-on, down and dirty podcast all about all things WordPress. We take a look at themes, we take a look at plugins, we think a, take a look at content and how to create awesome WordPress websites. I've been using WordPress for 10 years now and I want to share with you, our audience, lots of great things about WordPress and how you can use it to further your ministry, your company, your organization, your church, whatever it may be, we want to help you. And um, first off, let's uh, get some of the things behind us that we need to talk about, and that is uh, Facebook. Uh, please go follow us or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash techmerge. You can also check us out on the Twitter at techmergenet. And you know what? Yeah, it's a shameless plug. We would appreciate it if you would sponsor us or support us at Patreon. And you can go find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash techmerge. Now back to our featured presentation, and that is we're going to take a look at Civi CRM. Now, this is a little bit different than our normal episodes. We normally do a hands-on installation, configuration, and so forth, but we're going to dive into Civi CRM today. Uh, it is, is a relationship or a customer relationship management tool. Um, it can be installed as an add-on to WordPress. It's a fairly easy process uh, to do and We'll dive into that in some later episodes. It may take us actually a couple of episodes to kind of cover it. So we're going to call this episode six, but we're going to call it Civi CRM Introduction. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we're just going to talk about it today. We're going to talk about what it does and what it can do for your nonprofit, your church, your ministry as well. Um, and Civi CRM, it's open source. So it's free. You can download it, you can install it, it doesn't cost you anything. And what is Civi CRM? It's an open source CRM. Um, it allows you to own your own CMS system, your own content management system. Uh, it self integrates with Drupal, WordPress, or Joomla. Uh, we're going to use the WordPress version and dive into that. It's used primarily for nonprofits and organizations, it's basically your back office. It's every kind of thing that you need, donor management, relationship management with your clients, your customers, your donors, people that you serve in your nonprofit or your church. Now, there's a church management software package that's geared a little bit more towards churches that we'll dive into sometime down the road on the Tech Merge Bits and Bytes podcast and maybe even a special episode down the road. But right now we're gonna look at Civi CRM. So it's everything your organization needs. Yeah, that's the marketing on the page. But the reality is it's a pretty awesome program. I actually started using it for a nonprofit a few years ago. Uh, I installed it, it took me a, an afternoon to do it, configured it, and began to use it and store data in it, import data in and out. Uh, mailing lists, emails, I mean, the sky's the limit what this application can do. It's contact management, so it allows you to store your contacts of your, your donors, your constituents, your, your people that you interact with in your nonprofit or your organization. It's configurable and customizable. Um, it's open source, so if you know how to code or know people that do, you can have people extend it. There's a ton of plugins and add-ons for Civi CRM too within the WordPress uh, infrastructure as well. And we'll dive into that later episodes. It's membership management. Maybe your organization has a membership. Um, and uh, if it does, this allows you to manage that. It allows you to send emails to those members and, and kind of work uh, your membership 
management pieces. It's got some accounting integration. Um, just kind of makes things uh, easy to get data to and from your accounting software or to and from your accountants. Case management as organizations to create, manage, and track simple or sophisticated case management. So maybe you work with clients, maybe you uh, serve folks with addiction, and you need to maintain some data on those particular clients. Um, case management kind of allows you to do that. Event management. So your nonprofit has fundraisers, your nonprofit has different events and activities that it does. Well, you can manage that right within Civi CRM. Uh, email marketing, well, it's kind of got a built in email marketing plugin, so it allows you to uh, send out mass emails, uh, to send targeted emails out to specific people, to add their name and different fields within the email so it looks like it's custom and, and not just a mass email that's been sent bulk to everyone. Uh, contribution management, so that, that's key as well. It allows you to keep track of those donations that you receive, your contributions that you receive and as a nonprofit. Obviously, that's critical to maintaining a donor list and maintaining those areas. Um, what else? Well, it's got advocacy campaigns. Um, it kind of allows you to tie in a lot of these different things together. Um, it does peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Um, haven't used that functionality, but allows uh, your, your constituents, your members, to help fundraise for you. And it kind of manages the back end of that. And, well, it's got a huge and awesome reporting engine. It allows you to um, generate reports, generate labels, generate uh, exports, uh, generate reports. The sky's the limit. It, there's just a ton of reports in there built into the system. And, it, you know, 40 standard, and then you can customize to the sky's the limit. It's compatible with Drupal, Drupal uh, WordPress, and Joomla. Uh, this is WordPress daily, so we're going to be demoing the WordPress version. Um, it can be installed here. Uh, try the demo. You know, it's probably not something I can easily do. Uh, here, uh, but um, uh, it looks like they're, they're, all the demos are running with uh, Drupal. Uh, so since we're not a Drupal podcast, uh, we're not going to dive into that. Uh, but uh, if you go to the civicrm.org website, uh, you can check out the demos and kind of look at uh, what these particular companies and organizations are, are doing with uh, CiviCRM. Now, keep in mind, um, this is an add-on to WordPress. It may uh, be something that you would do on a separate WordPress website. You would install it. You may not want to put it on your main WordPress website. You might want to create a civicrm.something.com uh, or .org for your domain. Like in our case, uh, we would put it maybe civicrm.wordpress.org uh, or uh, civicrm.techmerge.net uh, would be kind of how we would um, set up a new WordPress installation and then install Civi CRM on top of that uh, for content management and um, constituent management. Uh, so Civi CRM is a great tool. I highly recommend that you at least take a look at it. It is free, uh, which, you know, as a small nonprofit or organization, um, it's not going to break the budget. There's some tools out there like Blackbaud, um, there's tons of donor management applications and, and CRMs for nonprofits, and many of them are extremely expensive tools. And, you know, if you're a multi million dollar nonprofit, maybe this isn't the tool for you, but let's say maybe you're a nonprofit that has 100 members, uh, one staff, or not even full time staff. I, I, I'm on a board of a nonprofit uh, here in, uh, in my home area. And you know we don't have any paid staff, uh, so we're actually going to be implementing Civi CRM shortly to kind of help us kind of maintain our documentation uh, for our programs and our activities. And then once we grow, you know we can take the data out of Civi CRM and import it into a larger system or or whatever if the need arises down the road. And that's one of the great things about open source software is not only is it free. 
but all the code's readily available. So if you have a programmer or know someone that can modify the code, well, you can do that. And it doesn't cost you anything to do it, um, other than if you've got to pay for the programmer to do it, you might have to pay a small fee. So anyway, we dove into Civi CRM. We kind of looked at it from a very high level today. Uh, I want to dig into it again. I actually want to download it, install it, show you guys how it all works and configure it. Now, my guess is that's going to take several episodes of WordPress daily. So we will do that in the future. We may dive into one of those episodes this week, and then we might add one each additional week going forward. I'm just not real sure how we're going to roll this out, but we'll figure it out long term. Uh, thanks for watching episode number six today. Uh, it is an introduction to Civi CRM and WordPress Daily. Uh, my name is Tom Mullins. We're part of the pod, the TechMerge podcasting network. For more information, www.techmerge.net. We're excited to bring you this show every single day about all things WordPress. Thanks for watching and have a